Triple eviction. Oh, Emma was croaky. Why don't they give her the fucking night off? <laughs> well, let Ryland do it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Emma's like, fuck no. He's not doing it. Because she knows he'll do it better than her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Malika was moaning that she was homesick. She's oh, got yeah. a great life at home. She's always being a snob about the Big Brother house. My life's she? better than this. Yeah, it's like, fuck's sake. I want to eat your canned sodium yeah. diet food. It's like, all right, bitch. You're I don't on a know game what the fuck porridge is. Yeah, you're on a game show. Okay, normally you're hanging out around Khloe Kardashian's house. Whoop, whoop. And news for you, you are getting a paycheck at the end of this, yeah. so get well, on with it. All they eat around Kardashian's house is fucking salad anyway. It's not mm-hmm. much better. Mm-hmm. Um, Shane, J- Shane L admitted how he likes to collect potato peelers. I thought they're that all, was such an Irish habit. They're all quite similar, though. And then Wayne's like, oh, do you put them on display? He's like, no. No. Just p- peel potatoes with them. And he's like, <laughs> and then he goes, this one's great, though, isn't it? The one they've got in the house. He's like, you should take this as a souvenir. Oh, Jesus, desperate. Although I do like things like that, even though it's proper boring. I do like things like that in Big Brother. <laughs> I don't know, it's something kind of... Trivial. Intri- yeah, and like I, I, something I like about the quirk, it. quirk, because who collects those? Like, no one. No one. Um... Then it was the evening, and Shane J was getting into drag. They spent quite a lot of time oh, showing yeah. that. Mm. Um, Anne wasn't happy about it, and she was like, oh, "She goes, can you sit properly, not gingerly like that?" And, gingerly. and Shane J said, "A lady should always sit gingerly, <laughs> Anne." <laughs> so then they had to say, "What do the housemates think of being women?" And Anne's oh, like, "Yeah, what does it mean Whoa. to be a woman in 2018?" And Courtney said, "It's about being intersectional." <laughs> she, yeah, she did. She said it's about being a black woman, a Muslim woman, a yeah. trans woman, etc. Et Anne's face was just like, yeah, okay, okay, there. There's a few rousing speeches during that night, wasn't there? Malika said it's about strength. Jess said it's about being yourself, fucking on MTV at night. <laughs> Amanda said it's about being able to love who you like, and Anne pulled a face when she said that. Did too. she? Yep. Um, and then Anne proposed a toast to real equality with no tilted playing fields. Mm. Anne, you stupid cunt. The whole fucking world has been tilted against women for fucking decades. Not decades. Fucking <laughs> centuries. <laughs> centuries and centuries. Do you think the fucking play, playing field was tilted towards us in the Victorian era or in the fucking caveman era or the fucking other eras that I can't <laughs> think of right now no bitch we were fucking at home getting raped fucking doing the dishes all that fucking shit you want to do now not get raped but like fuck, don't doesn't she understand that things have to tilt back the other way before they can tilt and be even again yeah. things have to tilt the other way before things can't just tilt one way than the other they have to go that way you know what I mean yeah, to yeah, even yeah. out it has to you. go m- further in our favour for once mm. to even get anywhere near. and even if it was just women were in favour for a few hundred years it still would be nowhere near equal with men still and for her to go oh we're totally equal and she doesn't want the but what she said was it's about being totally equal and too dim to know it that was offensive what? to women that was what she said before she raised that toast being too dim to know it thank god she didn't win thank god courtney said about uh, this thing that yeah. would be a lovely world yeah wouldn't that be a lovely that world? was such a good thing to say it was just so subtle and mm. oh it's just the fact that she can't see it it's just so obvious it's so obvious. Why can't you see that we have been oppressed for years and years and fucking years? And look at all this BBC stuff at the moment about the gender pay gap mm. and them, it not being equal and them having to bring... The fact that they're having to bring in laws to make pay equal proves we are not fucking equal, equal you stupid cow. Next. Next was a light <laughs> task about girl power. Thank God. So there were two teams where one team would become the Spice Girls and the other would become Destiny's Ooh. Child. Do you think the Spice Girls thing was put in Collected deliberately? Collected Big Brother. No, but do you think it, this was... Well, Ooh, I, I asked theory. for this at the start of this series. Mm. Now, Ryland knows Jerry Horner, a.k.a. Jerry Halliwell. Fuck that Jerry because Horner. Because... They have presented this morning together, and I I'm, thought Ryland's definitely going to get Jerry in on this. Is she here with the woman? Some more wine while you're doing the spice she's an iconic. Sp- she's like the leader of the Spice Girls. She's the leader. <laughs> she's the leader, <laughs> even though she left. She is the leader, though. But she is like the most iconic Spice of Girl, course. mainly because of the Union Jack dress at the Brit Awards. But um, she's my favourite. I thought Jerry could have just come in to like lead the task, you know, <laughs> not do something stupid. She just ain't gonna do that. just read the laminate, Jerry. You know, is she your favourite? She was, but now I find her really annoying. Oh, gosh, she's so bugging now. I used to love her I when I was a kid. Love, when she was, like, curvy, 
And now she's all skinny, she's boring. Um, she, yeah, I don't know. There's just something about her that is grating. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I find it really odd because she was such an icon of my childhood. But I think she was and grating. And I idolised her. I think she was grating then too. My dad used to take the piss out of her about her how old she was. <laughs> like He'd be like, gosh, she looks about 40 or something like that. Probably about 28 or I don't know, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, the Spice Girls are apparently coming back together. Yes. And there was a picture of them all together as well today. Yeah, Mel B looked a bit funny. She's got blonde hair. She look, no, not that. She looks a bit melted. Did she? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, she didn't look quite like The thing girl. is, this Spice Girls coming back together rumour is always around, isn't it? Like yeah. every now and then. But Jerry's been going around the last few weeks saying it's not happening. Well, I'm surprised Posh is doing it. Oh, she doesn't have to sing, though, apparently, in the contract. I fucking hate Posh Bo. <laughs> she's so dull. Just having to read endless articles in magazines about her, she's, like, this, she's never done anything interesting in her yeah, life. Well, apart from Mary David Beckham. Well, I find him quite dull, too. <laughs> Squeaky voice, not a So, <laughs> Malika was leading the team as Beyonce. Yeah. And <laughs> Malika's team was really not the A team, was it? <laughs> it was Shane Earl and Amanda. <laughs> So Malika the rest was, of the Spice Girls. Malika was good. Big Brother assigned them all who they would be. Yeah. Of course Big Brother chose Anne to be Scary Spice. Yeah. Um, Jess realised that Victoria doesn't need doesn't sing a single line of mm. Wannabe. Ha. She does though, and Did do you she? know this? Mm. She does at the end of the Wannabe video. Mm-hmm. If you watch it to the end, you know mm. they're in that hotel, they jump on that yeah. bus, mm-hmm. you can hear Victoria go, <gasps> oh fuck, at the end, or oh, oh really? shit or something, because she's about to fall over in her heels, jump, jumping on that bus. That's and not he can, singing. He just catch it at the end of the video. It's like, that shouldn't have been left really? in there. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Slow your body down and wind it all around. That's Slow what, your body down that's and what, wind it all that's around. That's what Anne didn't want to sing. No. Slow your body down and zig zig. Amongst zig-a-zig. other uh, things. Yeah. Lucky it went two become one. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put it on, put it on. Because to... tonight is the night when two become one. one. That's a good video, actually. It reminds me of being young. Um, but seriously. The traffic going by. Yeah, it's good. But seriously, if you've got the choice between Destiny's Child or the Spice Girls, it's not really much of a... The choice is it? Obviously, Spice Girls. Exactly. Yeah, this good. This child of crap. Also, oh, the women I hate, independent. I hate Throw your hands up but, at me. But Malika, hey, Beyonce. Yeah, but I don't really like Beyonce as a soloist. I can't stand her. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's got an amazing voice. But I don't like her songs. I don't like her at all. I think she's a really nasty person. Do you? She, yeah, she fucking wears fur. She's just, yeah, uh, no, not for me. Um, <laughs> yuck. <laughs> she's yuck, although she's gorgeous. And I just think she's like cold and oof, lizardy. Um, she's in the Illuminati. But Malika did actually a really good job of Malika could song. actually sing. But I did think she was, you know, taking it a bit too seriously. <laughs> she's like, oh, I'm, now I'm doing this task. I appreciate yeah. how much work Beyonce has to do. Yeah. But I did like Shane going, question. <laughs> question. Mm. <laughs> ding, ding. Question. That is funny. Um, Courtney in the diary room said, to me, the Spice Girls are the shining beacon of my teenage years. Mm. I can relate. And then mm. he tried to work how old he was when they were out and he failed. That's a bit mm. like me working out how old I was uh, when know, Big Brother started. You know why that is? Why? I think because Shane lies about his age. Oh, really? Yeah. So when he, he couldn't work out when he was in grade school, because I've read that he's, I think, Qua- 35 on I his think official Kwame bio. said he was nearly 40. Really? Yeah. So I think he's lying about his age. 35 maybe is nearly 40. Yeah. To so, Kwame. Uh, not to me, Anne, because no, I'm but 37. Kwame is only like 28. Oh, is he? So he thinks people in the 30s are old. Yeah. <laughs> no, because if people go, oh, I'm nearly 40, I'd be like, no, I fucking ain't. Mm. Nowhere near it. Thanks very much. <laughs> he said, I was a teenager, I didn't know who I was, and then the Spice Girls happened, um, and they just gave me the confidence to be who I was. Mm, girl power. Even though I wasn't a girl. Um, that's fair enough, you can have it too. Question? <laughs> <laughs> and then, Spice Girls, Wayne was Baby Spice, Anne was Scary Spice, but she didn't sing, she just growled. So I'll just stand here. That was like the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I thought she was acting more like scared spice. She was, was going like, was, did you not find that like the oddest thing you've ever seen? I thought it was more embarrassing that she didn't sing. Like mm. it would have been less cringy if she just got mm. on with it and sung. Mm. When you make a big deal about something like that, mm. it makes it worse. Because they're going to focus the camera on you then, aren't they? Because yeah, exactly. you're being an idiot. And because we know the Spice Girls songs inside out, mm. it was weird when Mel B's lines were being sung by Victoria yeah. for me. And also, Jess was quite good, but Cording wasn't that great as Jerry. No, she wasn't. Okay. The hair looked crap, and mm. the voice wasn't that good. And considering she's been on Amer- um, Australian Idol, I mm. thought she'd do better than that. Mm. Oh, well, no, she can sing, because she sang in well, that. Exactly. It was weird. Um, and also, why did 
Ashley have those weird orange, yellow lensed aviator glasses on oh, for, for Mel C because she never mm. wore anything like that. Fuck knows. I hate Mel C. I love her Mel C. voice, it's like nails down a fucking blackboard. Oh, I really like her. Oh, I can't stand her. She carries the band. Uh, no, she don't. Who her does voice, Mel B. Her voice makes me... Ugh. <laughs> Mel B or... or I like Emma. I like Emma's voice. I know, Jerry's voice is okay. But Mel C ruins it. She's like... The interesting thing is, like, none of them are really great singers, but no, they managed shit. to become a phenomenon. That's because they're incredible. icons. They're not really singers. Um, they're like toys or action figures or something, you know. Um, Who won it? Was there a winner? Fuck nice. Anne was in the living room, hmm. and Ashley was talking to her about, like, oh, having yeah. a boyfriend or whatever. And yeah. she was like, ask me when I was 20, and I would have given an, another answer. But now I like the solitary life. She said, it just didn't happen. Oh, yeah, Piers Morgan interviewed her about it, apparently. Do you know what? You have to make things happen. Yeah. You can't sit there waiting for Prince Charming to come along. You need to put yourself out there. And the fact that she didn't, I think she's got some emotional intimacy issues. You need to be careful of that pillow by your glass of wine, by the way, because I knocked at the whole point of orange squash over that from me the other day. Learn uh, the sorry, hard way. Sorry about that, guy. Um... I don't feel sorry for Anne. Oh, it didn't happen. She, she, that's her choice that that but didn't happen. She believes that she now likes a solitary life. Do you think anyone really likes a solitary yeah, life? Yeah, I do. Don't Morrissey you, does. Don't you think we're social creatures by nature? No, though? we are, but a lot of people do enjoy being on their own. I like being on my own. Not all the time, but I, I wouldn't like to live with someone all the time now. But I don't know if I spoke about this on the podcast before, but mm. I've heard in my own family, so my stepmother's mum has got dementia okay and she now lives in like a old people community mm. place and Ooh. it's like a not not like a home more like, like flats something like that yeah yeah but because she's got the company now like mm. she's not deteriorating anymore in fact, oh, she's getting, in fact she's getting better wow so i think that's like a massive argument yeah. against being solitary because you just sort of like yeah but waste she's, away by yourself but so, to some people the idea of being in that environment would be awful but some people mm. thrive more in that environment so it depends who, it depends who you are um even Anne's cats have died. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> so then Anne said, oh, I can't beat the Kardashians, Boyzone and Coronation Street. Hmm, okay. It's you... funny how Anne is assessing, like, the vote. Yeah, and the interesting, backing of isn't the it? Yeah. She knows a lot more mm. about Big Brother. It's not her first rodeo, though, is it? No, nah, it ain't. She done Strictly, so the same thing. Ashley said she thinks Anne and Jess will be the final two. I'm going then. Um, <laughs> Viction mm. time! Finally, they're being allowed to cheer again, and whoop whoop. There was a big cheering's che- fine, just no booing. There's a big cheer for Courtney. I heard a boo tonight. Slit that person's throat. Um, so the safe housemates were revealed, and it was Courtney, Courtney and, and Anne. Anne. But after that, all the suspense was gone, really, because it's like, oh, we, we don't care hey, now. There, there, there. That's all we need. So. Ashley and Malika left together. Ah, uh, the two housemates with the fewest votes are leaving. Now, what do you think of this? People on Twitter were saying it's unfair that Ashley and Malika had to leave together when Dapper, Johnny and Andrew all got individual evictions, even oh, though they the were woman. more unpopular because they left earlier. Mm. Well, they weren't because the vote was a bit rigged, but still, I get the point. I get the point, but I don't care. Uh, I don't either because Ashley and Malika are boring. Um, also, I, don't, I think it, this only was shown on the next Highlights um, episode, <laughs> mm. but Ashley said to Malika... I'm so lucky to be leaving with you. And I thought, yeah, because yeah. you're thinking about exposure in America. Probably. Oh, do you th- oh, did you think that? I think oh, so, subconsciously. Uh-huh. Um, Ashley's interview was just dire. It was just absolutely awful. Oh, but I did pick on one thing. On. She said she was scared even to see the glitter people. Yeah. Now, who are the glitter people? What the do you think? glitter people. Big Brother's minions she come in she, with the glitter. She said she was scared to see the glitter scared people. Scared of them, yeah. We need to ask Gary better about it, this. Maybe. Do you think it's like ninjas in Big Brother uh, yeah. Australia? Yeah, just come in and paste you in glitter. They did Shane's eyebrows tonight. And Anne's, Anne's eyelids. Uh, eyelids. Fuck. People. I'm glad you noticed that because I did not know. I wonder if anyone said that on Twitter. <laughs> Someone must have said that on Twitter. Oh, and then this is awkward. Fucking genuine is sat there like a fucking spare prick at an orgy with <laughs> Ashley's fucking parent. I Imagine. Know. Ashley did not look very impressed, uh, did she? 
And in that highlights where they showed that Ashley had those genuine socks on. But that looked like it was like his profile photo from Big Brother. I was like, where did they come from? I, that's good though, isn't it? I'd like socks with my face on. <laughs> um, but Ashley's Same. parents looked quite sour, didn't they? They didn't look keen on genuine socks <laughs> anymore. <laughs> so, um, go on. No, just when they were asking Ashley about genuine, she could not seem less interested. Yeah, I was- 